Delegate Liz Cheney, R. Wyoming, expressed Thursday on CNN's Wear Lemon Tonight that citizens in the United States are prepared for a female president when gotten some information about a potential 2024 official run. Cheerful Friday, rulers. Katie here. We're accomplishing something else today. We have a visitor patron, Susan Anderson, a long-term Wyoming-based columnist who takes care of the Cheney family for a considerable length of time. Considering all the interest in Liz Cheney's free streak and readiness to buck Donald Trump, Anderson compassed for us about her family foundation and how it could have molded her personality and political profession in view of announcing throughout the long term. More underneath. Because of Maya Parthasarathy for assisting with assembling this pamphlet. In the previous 18 months, and particularly lately, Wyoming Rep. Liz Cheney has turned into an image of political fortitude and freedom in the Republican coalition. She has taken care of those characteristics. In May 2021, she was taken out as GOP gathering seat in reprisal for her analysis of President Donald Trump and his job in the January 6 mob. In the previous month, Cheney has kept on requesting responsibility from the president and his partners as one of two Republicans on the January 6 Council, where she has been a vital storyteller and examiner. It's normal to ponder where such novel administration attributes come from in a time where many regret they are hard to find among government officials. One may be enticed to believe Cheney's coarseness, assurance and autonomy come from her dad, previous Vice President Dick Cheney, who got the epithet iron ass from previous President George H. W. Bramble. However, I take care of the Cheneys for a really long time, and I realize that Liz Cheney could never have turned into the particular political figure she is today were it, not for an ages in length line of extreme ladies in her loved ones. From the distant grandma who brought five children up in a tent in sloppy oil handles north of Casper, Wyoming, to her mom Lynn, a creator and history specialist who showed her little girl's female good examples, Cheney's young life was loaded up with refined and extreme ladies. Quick to perceive how this symbol in the making developed, I looked through notes from gatherings with her and memories from my long periods of revealing in Wyoming on Dick, Lynn, and Liz Cheney. Then, at that point, on March 16 this year, Liz plunked down for a conversation of what from quite a while ago and childhood prompted her taking what has been a desolate and expensive way for a Republican lawmaker. Two family pictures in Lynn's book that Liz discussed in March catch the extreme matriarchy Liz dives from. In one from around 1942, her mom, Lynn, a wavy-haired little child in the photograph, searches for worms in the family's minuscule Casper Triumph Garden, wearing a lovely, perfect velvet dress. The dress had been made by Lynn's mom, who herself had experienced childhood in a harsh oil field hovel in the town of Midwest. Liz Cheney depicted that oil town shack as having sides like two by fours with a material rooftop so it resembles a hard-sided tent essentially on the edge of the oil fields and, cold. Cold. Unpleasant as the oil field life was, Lynn was treasured and energized by her mom and grandma, which one can undoubtedly see with the velvet 